Hey, welcome to the Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be having a look at what GW call an avalanche of Iron Jaws, most of who was shown today for the first time during the preview at the Nova Open Online. And here we go, you can see the article is up on the Warhammer community site. So in this video, we'll have a look through all the models that are featured there. Tons of new ones. This is awesome news if you're an Iron Jaws fan. But let's kick things off first with the video. Here we go then, so it's been revealed that Dawnbringers 2, Reign of the Brute, is the next episode in this series, and the focus is now going to fall on the forces of destruction and the Iron Jaws, so this is fantastic news, and that means that big pig that we'll be taking another look at later on is going to be available soon, but also some of these amazing new models. I'm really happy about this, so let's have a look at all the new models that are going to be available, starting with this guy, Zogrock Anvil Smasher and Clonk. We saw Clonk earlier on this week. We got a little sneak peek there. He's a rock brow squig and he's got a permanent headache and that can only be relieved by percussive blows to the skull. And of course Zogrock is more than happy to oblige and then he's going to use that to shatter his enemy's most powerful arcane protection. So a good little pair here. I think they're going to be great fun. Looks like we've got some alternatives to the build as well. And Zogrot is an Iron Jaw Smith, he's got access to a pair of Grunter Tongs, and these can further imbue the power of the War. So there we go, that's real fun, he's going to help buff some of the nearby Orcs around him. I do like this one though, that sword looks awesome, that'd be great fun to paint, and the hammer too. But brilliant character, and really nice to see some more Iron Jaws. But this is only the beginning, let's keep going and look at the other models. Right, next up we've got Brute Rages. This is going to be a set of three, and they certainly remind me of that Underworld set, but I think the Underworld set still holds up, and you could use the rules from these Brute Rages with your old models from that set if you wanted to. I, I'm sure that would work fine, but if you want some new ones, these are going to be great, and you might not have the Underworld sets either, and they can be quite expensive getting the older ones now. So yeah, new models, new look, similar poses though to what we've seen before. They've all got the double-handed weapons, so they're going to be dealing some punishment for sure. And apparently they're quite fast as well, so it's going to be really interesting to see their stats and the war scrolls and see what they can get up to. But next we've got the Weird Brute Wreckers. Now these are my favourite from the bunch, I think. Maybe getting close to that big pig that we're going to see later on, but as far as the models go for the Iron Jaws, these look fantastic. They're going to fit in really well. And earlier on, I made a video for Warcry saying that that Warcry was probably my favourite reveal. But these came really close. I just think they look fantastic. They've got tons of character. The masks are brilliant. And I really like the weapons that they've got. Now, these weird brute wreckers are described as going proper wonky. And then they start vomiting green bile. And to sort them out, the weird knob shamans will hammer gruesome bone and iron masks into their skulls. But instead of getting the wonk out, it's turned these guys into maniacal killers, which are the weird brute wreckers. They've got the green mist in front of their eyes, and they're just going to go crazy, smashing things up with these chain smashers. I love these. I think they're going to be so fun to play, and really going to encourage me now and inspire me to get that Iron Jaws army finally painted. I've got it all primed, just got to get on with the painting. Next up, we've got some new sculpts for the Ard Boys, and now they're going to get some new weapons. They're going to be taking up some stickers. We're also told that they're going to be using their shields more as a weapon now than a defensive tool. So that's interesting. It's going to be interesting to see how many attacks they can make. Maybe you get different attacks at range now, 2 inch and 1 inch, so we'll have to wait and see. But there's quite a few here to look at. We're getting some great designs. I'm really liking the new masks that they're putting on these. The poses, they're going to be pretty similar. Um, they are Oryx after all. They can only go in so many shapes and sizes. But I really like how they've done this. And yeah, nice to get an upgrade on what are some fantastic models. And I must say, I chose the Iron Jaws because there wasn't that many options available to them. That appealed to me because it was nice and simple to start. Didn't have too many options. Sometimes you can have too many and then you don't know where to go or you're chopping and changing all the time. I did like it because it was nice and simple. So although these are new, they're still going to fall in with one of the units. It'll be a different war scroll for these new weapons. But still, it keeps things nice and simple but adds enough variety that we can mix things up a bit and have a great looking army. So yeah, these are going to be one that are going to be on my list for sure. But still, those wreckers, they're so good. Now we've got to look at the Battle Tome Supplement for the Iron Jaws. And all of the units that you've seen here and the more Grunter that we still haven't looked at yet, they're going to get some new rules that will be in the upcoming Dawnbringers 2, Reign of the Brute. 
And there's also going to be a hog-heavy army of renown called the Grunter Stampede, so look out for that too. But it gets better, and I was quite surprised by this. If you are a fan of the Iron Jaws now, they're going to get their own supplement, their own Battle Tone supplement, and it's going to be free. It's going to be online and free to download. This is really good news because it means we don't have to buy that Reign of the Brute if we only want the rules for the Iron Jaws. We can get it from this free supplement. So I'm very happy about that. I can just get the models. I don't have to worry about getting another book. It does confirm in the Warhammer community article that this supplement will contain the rules for every single new unit that we've gone through in the video and the recently previewed Ardboy Big Boss as well. Don't forget he came out not that long ago and it's designed to work alongside the Battle Tome Auric War Clans. It's also going to have the Iron Jaws lore as well and a gallery of heavy metal miniatures so it's not just going to be the War Scrolls. It's going to sounds like a proper Battle Tone supplement that's available for free. So that was a really nice surprise. Really happy about that but now let's have a look at this big pig i cannot wait for this to come out this is the iron jaws more grunter i've really been looking forward to this one when i first saw it on the online preview a few months back i just knew i had to get it for the army and so yeah this is going to be really great and recently I built, or a while ago I built, and then finally finished painting last week, my Rogue Idol. Unfortunately, it's not legal, so if you wanted to play in any tournaments or any official games, then you're not going to be able to. But for fun games, for sure, you can still use the old War Scroll. Why not? If you play a narrative game, who cares? It's all about having fun. But now, I definitely know I can take some big machines into battle like these more Grunters. They're going to be awesome. So I've got a little backup if I ever do decide to play official tournaments. But for me, it's mostly just fun games at the local club or at home. So there you go, what a great selection, really good news for Iron Jaws fans. It looks like this is all going to be released separately, so you're not going to get like an army box or anything like that. Here you can see the four boxes with the different models in, so you can pick them up individually, you don't have to get them all in one go, there's no like paywalls or anything like that if you're only after one model. So again, good news. So if you just wanted the Tusk Boss or more Grunter, you could certainly just buy that. And that's exactly what I'll do, and probably get some of those Wreckers as well. And probably that other guy with the squig too. I like that. Maybe it would have been better if they did an army box after all. But there we go. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts. And will you be getting any of these and added them to your collection? Let me know down in the comments. A massive thank you to all my sponsors and supporters for helping me keep going with these daily videos. And it's been great that you've been clicking on their links and supporting them and me. So thank you so much for doing that. It really helps the channel and helps me to keep going, keep growing, trying new things and bringing new games as well. Always happy to hear what you'd like to see on the channel. So let me know in the comments too. There were a lot of reveals at the Nova Open preview online today. I'm going to be covering them here on the channel. I've done Warcry, that's already up. And probably by the time you're watching this, they're all going to be on the channel. So if you want to check those out, I'll link to some of them at the end of this video. I think the Nova Open has been a great preview for Age of Sigmar in particular. Can't wait for these Wilder Core Hunters to come out. Then you've got the Gorger Moor Pack, or Gorga. They look fantastic, not quite sure how to say those. And then look at Warhammer Underworlds with Death Gorge with... Sirenese Razors, can't say that either. And then finally, Trug the Trogoth King. This one is really cool. And all that is going to be featured here on the channel. But for now, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, it'd be really cool if you hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this one. And I look forward to seeing you here next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters for helping me to keep going with these regular videos. I couldn't do this without you. And I appreciate your support so much. If you'd like to join the Patreon community, support the channel, get some great perks at the same time, there's a link down below in the description. It'll be awesome to see you there.